Good morning. You're listening to FortDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Har. This morning, my guest is Thomas Trissel, the owner of TNT America. Thomas, how you doing? Good morning, Mr. Har. I'm doing wonderful. I think I've caught you at the airport today, headed to the StarNet meeting. That's one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. First, though, some people may not know, but TMT America uh, owns both the HBS Shernox and Kubrit brands here in the United States. Tell us how's business doing. Cam, first of all, thank you for having me. we heading indeed over to Denver and then going down to Colorado Springs. You ask me how business is doing. I think I would answer this as any other leader in the flooring industry. We have good days and we have bad days. We definitely have challenging days. But you know what? We are steady to overcome those and you know, looking forward to putting all the pandemic and all the supply chain issues and all what's rest going on in the world behind us and focusing on the industry and on flooring. Most of what you sell goes into the commercial market, and we've heard that that's been doing okay. So are you outpacing previous year numbers? Yeah, we're having very nice growing numbers. I think that is a result of our team, specifically on the Chernock side, were very steady and continues running through the pandemic time when others were sitting at home. We were right in front of customers. Little correction, though, um, specifically with the Chernox and Kubrit products. Yes, we have our home. We have our heart in commercial, but Chernox and Kubrit, both product lines are very suited for the residential line. For those who might not know, obviously, HPF Chernox is floor prep products, a whole host of floor prep products. And uh, Kubrick is a profile brand for transitions. That's actually, uh, you've only been driving that for a little over a year, right? Yes. First of all, there's a firewall between both these companies. We have our external sales teams, operations teams. Both companies are operated individually. Both companies are heading out to Colorado to be with the Starnet folks this, this weekend. But going back to the numbers and growth, so Chernox is indeed catching up with those others who are here for many, many decades as we are just went over the 10-year threshold in North America. But I cannot complain about how things are going. When we talk about commercial, we see a few delays in some job sites. Yeah. Granted, you have an army of people out there that, to help pull the product, but you also sell through distribution. And this contractor sector, this whole star net where you're headed, I mean, that's a key part of the business in as far as influence in the sale. Absolutely. That's where we're from. That's where we come from. That's where we have been, you know, in floor contracting all our life. And the fantastic team we're taking over to Colorado Springs, including Mike Penny, Doug Young, Matt Barr, Brandon Hagen. Fantastic people who really make the stride right now in servicing all these good contractors of all the buying groups. Well let's talk about that meeting. It's the first time this group's gotten together in three years. Obviously Starnet's the largest group of commercial contractors in North America and it's their thirtieth anniversary and I'm hearing they're gonna have the largest crowd they've ever had. So uh we're all looking forward. I'm leaving first thing in the morning to be there as well. But while we're talking about contractor sector, I understand you just recently had another one of your Porsche events down in Alabama recently, right? Yeah, we were last week in uh, Barber Motorsport in Birmingham. We do this every year. We're bringing a group of people in from all the buying groups, but also independents. And yeah, I mean, we, we were a group of 35 people. It's quite an undertaking. We bring them into Florence for technical training, for a little bit of understanding of the product lines. And then we put all the people in, in some cars, drive them down to the Porsche track, and there's where they really have the, the time of their life experiencing cars at incredible speed. We do this not only because I'm a car enthusiast, we do this also for the trust in the instructor, the, the trust in the cars, the trust in people themselves, gaining day by day a little bit of experience driving the cars. And we had a very nice crowd last week, and there were young folks there and, 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 and folks my age and even some a little bit older. But uh, I think everybody enjoyed it, and I think you will talk to quite a few people at the Sonnet Show this weekend who will explain to you and, and share with you their experience what a thrill of life they had. Okay, so it's kind of a team building. Not only is it riding around in fun cars. I understand Leonard Zimajewski with Diversified was there last week. Absolutely. Leonard was there and his brother David was there, but there were many, many other really great and good and remarkable people on this track. I have to tell you, I was amazed how everybody did. Yeah, it's team building, but it's also a fact that, you know, children bring over that, you know, what we are selling is not subfloor. We are not selling is pieces of metal. What we are selling is trust. I'm now over 25 years in this country and have only been in the flooring industry. You know, I think it speaks for itself that people took the time and come to Alabama and joined some 
very good time with us where we got to know each other better and where they see that, you know, our specifically sales and technical team is doing nothing other than these, you know, car instructors. You need to put, you know, your, your life and your trust into their hands. And that is what we actually want for, you know, this long contractor understanding and finally realizing that, you know, you're getting more than just a bag or just getting more than just a strip of profile, right? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Let me ask you one more last question. What's your outlook for 2022 rest of the year for growth? Ken, you, you asked me this every beginning of the year, and we know how quick the world can change, as we saw with the pandemic or as you just saw with a horrible war in Ukraine. Um, so I want to be very careful what I'm saying to, to not jinx things. But to be fact is that we are growing in, in very healthy numbers. Our first quarter numbers, we grew uh, above 25 to 30 percent in both powder and liquids when we talk about the Chinook side. Very happy about this, but you know what? We need to keep it up. Uh, we have secured our supply chain. We were one of the, the few last year who, you know, were at the phone and said we are ready to deliver. Our distributors partners did a fantastic job. So I'm using here the chance to appreciate all our distributor partners from the East Coast over to the West Coast. You know, I couldn't be more satisfied with the fact that, you know, we can supply. We don't have any interruptions there. How we look forward in 2022 being surprised with huge amount of orders. They don't just come from others who cannot deliver. They also come from, again, the trust building we have done here in the last recent months and years. And I think, you know, we're in a good momentum. You know, I think the future for, for Chernoff is in, in a very good stage. With Kubarit on the profile side, we took this on in the pandemic. And, you know, as every startup business I have started, you know, it is a rocky, rocky, rocky world to find out how this world functions. And I like to learn while doing, and we're doing this, but uh, we're going with good efforts and good spirits into into this this week's event with Starnet, but also all the other partners we're having in this industry. We're very thankful to everybody who's giving us their trust. All right, Thomas, it was good to catch up with you. Looking forward to seeing you face-to-face -face in Colorado Springs. Again, been talking to Thomas Trissel, the owner of TMT America, and you've been listening to Kempar and Floridaily.net.